All right, Chip, thank you so much for that. Uh, a lot of interesting stories coming right there. And we know, of course, when we turn to the UK, election is just knocking on the door, uh, counting down days to that. Now let's talk about uh, what is happening, especially um, talking about life is now online, everything is, is going virtual. And of course, the risks that come with it. Uh, earlier in the year, we did see reports of um, the highest risks to businesses this year is cyber security. But guess what? It's not just about businesses. It also concerns individuals, ensuring that individuals and organizations are equipped with the knowledge. That's what we want to do this afternoon. Now, according to um, Terra Nova Security, by 2025, an estimated 60% of organizations will use cyber security risk as a key factor when determining transactions and business engagement with third party. And that third party could be you. So how do you get yourself equipped, uh, get your business equipped uh, against this risk? We have Ngozi Duru, a cybersecurity professional, joining us right here in the studio. Hi, Ngozi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, so how real is this risk in Nigeria? Oh, okay, so you see, um your estimate is right correct because I think we have already exceeded that. Um, with the adoption of, we are actually uh, a people that adopt technology quite early and there's a lot of transformation technologically going on and with that comes a lot of risk, but um, people are not informed, people are not looking at that and they are not um, taking it seriously. But as long as there is the internet, as long as there are transactions going on the internet, as long as there are banking in, um, transactions, as long as um, education is adopting digital technologies, there are always going to be risk. Mm. So now let's talk about how we can protect ourselves. Um, so when we look at the list of risk, uh, there's malware, ransomware, um, DDOC, spam attacks, fishing, what can people do in their daily transactions, interactions with the social media, with businesses to protect themselves um, from uh, getting filtered by this? Awesome, that's a very beautiful one because that is one question people aren't asking. As much as we see that um, there is so much risk out there, people People aren't protected and they do not know how to protect themselves. Um, we're going to take it from individuals, then we'll go down to businesses because we begin to see that businesses are being affected on a daily basis. But as individuals, to start with, you can begin to implement um, strong passwords. As simple as that is, you can implement strong passwords on your banking application. Start with your phone. Strong password can give one more struggle to the attacker who is trying to make an attempt. You can also what is activate a strong password that I won't forget. Oh yes. <laughs> so you know, um, these days to help you, I think we should go past what it is, but begin to look at what can help you remember. We have things like the Google password um, saver. You can actually have your Google pa your password saved on Google. So. You can have a thousand and one different passwords, which we actually encourage. We don't ha encourage you to use one password across different um, platforms. So that can help you remember. But most of the pl uh, password um, platforms will tell you numbers, characters, a mixture of those. But is, how safe is Google Password or any? I know there's a lot of applications like that. Yeah, because, I mean, that can also be infiltrated and your password can be compromised. That is, that is an interesting <laughs> one, actually. <laughs> but the truth is that they have the responsibility and they have the capability to actually protect your password. So it's going to be in a rare case of um, a serious attack that will have those kind of um, data breaches. Yeah, you can also in, um, in begin to implement things like um, multi-factor authentication. You see, from time to time, people talk about their path, um, their WhatsApp being hacked. The very the solution and the simple um, remedy to that is activate multi-factor authentication. It's sort of um, the the attacker will have to take one more step to be able to access your account. So as things as simple as activate to uh, multi-factor authentication, begin to use strong passwords. Yeah, so you're going to tell us how, maybe what, not what to use as passwords, but how to remember the passwords. You're going to tell us that. 
Okay. Or what pass passwords we can use that we will not forget. Forget. I mean, like they say, um, security is actually your responsibility. You understand what I mean? It's our responsibility to, to begin to devise creative ways, right? So I can't tell you exactly what you should do, but within your, 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 your comfort, you should be able to say, okay, I obviously not your name. Your name shouldn't come anywhere close in that. In Date that. of birth? No, not <laughs> acceptable. You know, there is also this complex password and process. When you try to um, um, sign on, on, on some platforms, it suggests passwords to you. Yeah, so we can begin to try to devise things like that. So, but is that safe? Yeah. Those suggested passwords. Yeah, yeah they are safe. They are safe. If you, if you find a way of um, keeping them safe after that. They actually save, you know, and then for corporations, we're beginning to see that a lot of companies are also being attacked. Apart from individuals, there are several frauds going um, on. So companies can begin to do things as um, simple as um, accessing their, their, um, their systems, their security systems. They, they should begin to educate their staff because, again, the, your level of security depends on the awareness of your employee so because they are the, your weakest link thank you so no matter the number of um, applications the robust um, security that you've put in place if your employees are not informed if they are not aware if they cannot detect um, a social engineering then um, that's not um, that, that, that wouldn't do anything at all. So companies will get to the point where they begin to um, educate, create awareness, let your employee understand what, um, when they see a phishing email, what it can look like and what to do and what not to do. So on a daily basis, individuals can protect themselves by how I've just said, and companies can also do this as well. All right, thank you so much. I guess it's a daily thing and there's no static way or formula. You just have to keep developing creative as, ways yeah creative, creative ways, ways to as protect. the challenges come i mean because um when we see companies considering how safe you are before i they can transact with uh, an individual then it makes you know that you could you could lose businesses if you are perceived as not being uh, safe or protected. Definitely the statistics you just um, said during in your introduction i think we've come past that i, I mean the the numbers are on the high it's going to get to some, I mean, companies should begin to have um, risk management. You seriously cannot be doing a business, especially like in Nigeria, without a risk management, at least a framework. All right, thank you so much uh, for your time this afternoon, Gazi Duru, cybersecurity professional, for those tips. Thank you very much.